Hey everybody, I'm the Bresh Man. Today I'm Chef Bresh. I'm going to make a dish called Slum Gully, and everybody's been emailing me and messaging me because I put it on the internet while some friends were eating it. Simple peasant dish, and I'm going to show you how I make it. And you can make it at home, and it's just fun food. That's all. First of all, we got to chop up an onion. Guitar players, watch out. I'm not quick at this. I know you cooks out there are getting a kick out of me because um, the way I handle this, you guys fly through this stuff, but I don't cook that much. I don't want to deal with knives. Tiny bit of olive oil. Now we'll bring over the onions. And I know you know how all this works. So I'm going to saute these onions, get a little brown going to them, then we're going to add the meat. The onions are looking pretty good. I'm down one notch from high heat, by the way, to saute this. Brown the meat, same way. Pound and a half of ground round, ground sirloin. Sirloin. Yeah. The same recipe will will uh, accommodate two pounds of beef too. Starting to sing, isn't it? Hear it? Mm. You see my hand? I use about that much salt. Whatever that would be. You can always salt it yourself later. Minced garlic. I like minced garlic, so we're going to put not that much of it in there. Since we're killing this little jar, I may add just a little more, too. I like to get like two teaspoons of this minced garlic. Okay, now we're going to add some tomato sauce. These are the little Hunt's, Hunt's tomato sauce. The, this particular kind has got uh, basil, garlic added, and oregano too. These are really good. Dump it in, three of these little cans. Don't throw the cans away yet. I'm going to go get about this much water in this can. Hang on. I'm going to see. I got it in this can. I'm going to slurp it around. Pour it into this can. Slurp this one around. Pour it into this can. These are empty now and shiny. And this can got the additional juice. And this is good. Get this mixture stirred up blended. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. Now comes some pieces and stems of mushrooms. Or you can chop up your own if you really want to be like really cool and healthy. Or just get some of these. There's stems, pieces, 
to drain the juice out. I don't go nuts with it. A little juice in here can't hurt. But then I put the mushroomy rooms in here. And that's got them. Now I'll stir this in. I noticed, I noticed that I'm out of, uh, I don't have any more minced garlic, but I get some garlic powder and I'm going to put some of that in here. I do have some fresh garlic, maybe I, I will put that in. I will, I'll, a little clove of it, you know, about like so, chop it up, and I'm gonna throw it in there. Ah, uh, doesn't that look good? Yep, I chopped up that garlic and put it in there, and I sprinkled a little garlic powder over the top to make up for the lack of another tablespoon of my minced garlic. So I'm going to let it uh, sit here and uh, cook, bubble, stuff like that. Things that hot foods that are cooking like to do. Let it do that about 15 minutes and I'll stir it every few minutes. Then I'm going to send it down to low, cover it, and Wait for the arrival of my lady friend. Doesn't that look larapin good? Mm-mm-mm. Boy, -mm -mm. I'll tell you. My next chore, gang, is to make the famous breast cheese bread, which is nothing. But everybody thinks, what's your secret ingredient? Well, I'm going to show you. I get uh, some French bread. This just happens to be whatever I could get over at the store. I've let it, I got it a couple days ago, so it'll get a little hard. What I'm going to do is cut it up for uh, pieces. Somebody might want the, somebody, just me and Natalie. See how wide these are? Not very wide. This really enough for us. It's just us. So I don't know what I'll do with this. But normally I would cut it all up. Okay, time to bring in what I'm going to put into the broiler in the oven. Put these all over here, face up, like so. There are two secrets to this bread. One of them is lots of butter. You don't just tap it on there. See, that's part of what everybody's tasting. So much butter this is, watch. Look at it. You don't want to get it all rubbed in, you know, spread it on. Just spread it on so it's still sticking up a little bit, see, like so. Almost so it looks kind of like an icing on a cake. This will melt into that bread with the Parmesan cheese that we put on top. All right, so now it's got the butter. Now we put on the Parmesan cheese. This is the stuff I like. Kraft Parmesan cheese. I try the fresh Parmesan. It doesn't taste the same. It doesn't melt the same. And uh, I like this stuff. And I put it on. 
Look. A mound of it on each one. There's a mound on there, see? I don't know if you can see it or not. Now for safekeeping. I'm just going to put it in the oven without the oven on until time. Because this goes in about the last five minutes just before you serve it. And don't burn these. Okay, here's what I've done now. I've boiled my pasta. Use mustacholi if you can, but if you can't, it's okay to use uh, penne pastas like this. So you know how to boil that, get a water water going, boiling about, I don't know, until it gets boiling good. Throw a, about a tablespoon of salt or so in there, it helps the boiling, helps the process. Then you boil your pasta. Now when you can taste it, take one out, mmm, tastes good. Then you strain it through a strainer or whatever it is you have. If you don't have a strainer, they're cheap at the, at the grocery store. You can get it. I put the broiler on in the oven, put the bread in, about four minutes is all it takes, and it's perfect. And now I'm, I've got the pasta and it's, it has been strained, it's ready to go. Now all we're going to do now is put it on the plates, put the sauce over the top, parmesan on top of that once again, have some bread, serve it. Red wine is really good. And that's how you make it. Here's the recipe so you can write it down. Then I'll get this beautiful hot babe right here to taste it. Yeah. She won't lie to you. She better lie and say it's great. But here, I got to do it now. Can't talk. Love you, bye. <laughs> no. There it is, finished. Oh, yeah, great. Mm. That's the category for this round, and, and I can use some. And, That's uh, good. There it is, that's the finished product. Enjoy, make it, it's a lot of fun. You can make it for as many people as you want. It's quick, it's easy, it's a peasant dish. Come on, nothing to it. That's it. I'm Chef Breshman for the night and that's all I got. BD TV.